And now, we'll move from the jubilation of that victory up to 215 pounds. Real leap up in weight. Mike McDowell of Averill Park, representing Section 2, a 17-year-old junior. And Robert Murphy from Chaminade, the first Catholic High School Athletic Association wrestler to make it to the finals in the history of this tournament. He, too, is 17-year-old and a senior. 33 and 0. This year, 94 and 10 in his career, Robert Murphy. Murphy's first out on the mat as he awaits Mike McDowell. Both of these wrestlers showed some great agility in the previous matches in the semis and the quarters. They're, they're not your, your standard heavyweight, do nothing type wrestlers. They move well, they got some great moves. McDowell has 26 pins, 20 by Robert Murphy. It's a little tough to distinguish the colors and differentiate between them, but the man who has the tights on, has the entire leg covered, is Mike McDowell. Section 11 still leading in the team scoring over section 6 now. As you watch these pair of 215 pounders in what has been so far an uneventful first period. Crowd still buzzing as a result of that pin by Zito. Pin often leaves you in that that feeling of jubilation. Murphy's got his cheering section here as well. Takes his man down, but he throws him out of bounds. No he tried a leg trip, almost had it, ran out of mat space. McDowell considerably taller than Murphy. Must have at least eight, eight inches to a foot on him. One minute to go in this first period. Down to the mat, they go, close. Very close, Murphy in control of McDowell. I think he'll get the two back points, but he's not going to get or takedowns, not two back points. He does give him the two back points. I had a feeling he was on the line. Obviously, the referee had a better position on it. Mick Murphy will be in the up position now. He's leading four to nothing. The semifinals, Murphy took advantage of, of two missed throws or miscues by his opponent on a way to victory. He defeated Randy Cotton 7 1 in overtime. Murphy also beat Jeff Wilson after getting a bye in the first round. Has a tendency to sit on top and does get called for stalling. There's the escape. Four to one lead for Murphy. Mike McDowell beat William Smith, Don Reidenauer. And he too had to buy in the first. Another leg trip. This time he gets him. And just before the end of the period, he ups his lead to six to one over Mike McDowell. Don't go away because we'll have the final match of the championships coming up right after this one. Bill Shanley and Patrick Halpin. Halpin out of Baldwinsville. Shanley from Williamsville South. Dow working. I believe for far side cradle. Right now he's got a head lever. Bob Murphy hit finding difficulty to get out from underneath. but probably not worrying too much about it, leading six to one. Not much in the way of offense from Mike McDowell. Oh, 
Now Mike's laying on top. He's not getting out to the side as much as he should. Now he's going to tilt. Didn't have control and you saw Murphy roll through. Now he has control, but can he do something with it? There's a lot of movement, but no one's completing a move. Mike McDowell remains on top, close to the out of bounds near the head table. Murphy won a gold medal at the Empire State Games in this weight class, 215. Section 16. Good solid wrestling. Cancel, we follow. 26 seconds left. In the 215 pound weight class second period. Dow again getting out to the side. A uh, warning there. And he is going to get some back points this time. And Murphy called, got called for stalling just beforehand. Inside the arm bar there at the end. Did he get some more points? Coaches, you get two for back points. That brings him match score to six to three going into the third period. They'll both start up. Here we go, the third period. Let's see what McDowell can come up with. Murphy appears to have the strength advantage. Probably some experience being a senior. Trying to become the first state champion representing the Catholic High School Athletic Association. Headlock attempt by McDowell. He almost has it. Murphy does fight away. And as he does, he runs some valuable time off the clock. Murphy now with the upper hand and the headlock. McDowell's got his head down in a single leg attempt. What's he going to try to do right now? Roll him? He's locking his arms underneath. Right now he's going to stand up. <laughs> Referee called the stalemate. But it looked like he was going to try to hit a barrel roll. Hopefully get two for the takedown and three. Hopefully three for back points. Under a minute to go. A six to three lead. Not what you'd call comfortable. Referee Gene Miley warning Robert Murphy for stalling. That's one point that brings the match score to six to four. Now McDowell needs that takedown to tie this up. Here they go with 30 seconds to go. It's in tight. He's got the single, switching off to a double. Very close to the two points. He does get the two. Tied at 6-6. Six, six. 15 seconds to go. Very close to reversal. He does get the reversal. Five seconds left. Can he retie it? He does retie it. He gets it. Yes! He does get the two points. I think we have an overtime bout. They looked over the scorer's table. Scoreboard says 10 to 8, Murphy. I got lost in all the scoring going on. And it is Murphy winning it. So a great finish by Mike McDowell. But he comes up two points short, and Robert Murphy becomes the first Catholic High School state champion. And so a tremendous finish to the next to the last bout. And now 
We go to the 